got some secrets. You're going to meet a woman called Sheila on this show who's looking for her best friend from 42 years ago, an old boyfriend, and her grandchildren. Well, don't give it away, but we found all of them. She re-meets them and a lot more. Mary Lou, do you remember that? No. You don't remember that? <laughs> Sheila, you don't remember that? I hope that you have uh, the best of good luck in the years to come. You and Ray, so it's God. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, when we put them together again in 97. Well, the holidays have come and gone, and it's time now for all of us to live up to those resolutions for the new year that we made. Some people want to quit old habits, some want to make up for the past in some way, and that's where I come in, because today, just in time for the new year, we are reuniting family and friends together again in 97. My first guest today came here to see if we could help her find her father, who she hasn't seen in over eight years since she was a little girl. I want you to welcome 15-year-old Sabra and her mum, Cheryl, to the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Why now is it important for you to find your father? It's been important ever since I found out that the man that my mother married when I was four wasn't my dad. Um, when he signed off, everything at home, I've never really had a positive father figure that I could look up to. And my mom always told me that my real dad was a good man and would never have hurt me, but he would have always been there for me. Do you remember anything? It's only been eight years. You're a little girl. Uh, maybe your mum, Cheryl, can help us here. How, how did it end up that Sabra's father wasn't the man who raised her? Um, we were college sweethearts together, and he decided to go into the service and have the Air Force be his career. And while he was in basic, um, before he was in basic, I obviously became pregnant. And uh, we were planning on getting married when he came home from basic, but he had a change of heart and decided that he did not want to get married at that time, and there's no sense having something that isn't quite right for both of us. So. Did he change his mind later? Pardon? Did he want to come back? Later? Yes, he did. At two, when she was two and a half, he came back in our lives. And at that point, you said? I was involved with someone else at the right. time. Did he come back at periods after that at all? Um, about two or three different times he came back to see her, but uh, at about, when she was about six and a half, he decided to um, no longer be involved in her life in Too any confusing. way. Too confusing. Was that why? Well, we don't know. I don't remember don't any know. times before when I was six. All the time I remember was when I was eight, my mom took me down to Kentucky. And we, we were supposedly supposed to meet up with one of her college friends, so I was under the impression. We got out of the car, and I go, Mommy, who's this? And he started crying. He goes, why didn't you tell her about me? And I'm, I'm sitting here confused, Layla, eight years old. So we ended up spending the day going around the mall. And about two, about an hour, and a, about a half hour to an hour before we left, we were up through one of them little crosswalks going from one part of the mall to another and I got told that this is my dad and I said, no, he's not my dad, he's at home. And she goes, no, that is your stepfather, this is your dad. Which totally blew my mind at a little little eight-year-old girl. Cheryl, I, I, I'm, just, I'm, not, I, I'm not one to judge, but this is a little inappropriate, isn't it? Um, sort of like dump it on this little girl in the middle of a mall with the man there is your dad? Um... The reason we were down visiting him is I was legally separated mm -hmm. from my husband at the time. Oh, so you, you didn't know what could have come out of that? Correct. He's all right with this. He's not going to mm -hmm. pressure me not to or, or to any either way. 
so we've decided that now would be the right time okay. for me to pursue finding him. So what's his name? Where can we find him? Um, all I know is his name is David Stevens, and he has a daughter, my half-sister. You don't know where he is? No. Uh, last known address would be around Lexington, Kentucky, mm -hmm. um, when he signed off paternity for Sabra. Um, the address was in Lexington, and six okay. months after we terminated the paternity, um, we sent a letter to him with some pictures and it came back address unknown. What do you want to say to him if he's watching either of them? Um, David, this is very important to say, bro. If he's watching or anybody that knows him, I would like to, if not, maybe he doesn't want to be in my life anymore, but to at least maybe let me have a chance to see my little sister. Because okay. I, all I had was a picture of her because she wasn't home at the time when we went up to visit him. We went to the mall and stuff, but... It's important for you to know what your dad is, yeah. who he was, and like a real if, possible, if he does want to be a father figure, he doesn't have to come visit me like every other weekend or... But at least like once a month, once every two months, just be... Or at least have some kind of contact where I know he's around, where I can get right. my back roots and get a touch with my grandparents or... Yeah, it's important. Anything. Women have good, strong father figures. It helps them find better partners in life. It lets them know that there are good men. I, I want to show you a photograph. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Have you ever seen that photo before? No, I haven't. That's a photo of you and your father. That was uh, taken when? Was that, Cheryl? Um, that was Sabre at two and a half. That's a Polaroid photo. That, that yeah. was one of the visits you don't remember. Yeah. Uh, I want to show you another photo that... Do you know what that is? No. I know what that is. You know what that is? What's that show? Uh, I've seen that, that picture before, but not like that. It has, What is it, Cheryl? Um, that picture was given to someone. That was given to your father. And what he's done is put it in a frame, and it sits on the mantle in his house, and it's been there every day, and he looks at it every day, and he's here to see you right now. Oh, my God. He's right there. <laughs> your dad's coming in. <laughs> David, Sabra. Hey. Why don't you sit in the middle there, David? We'll put the family back together here. What happened, Dave? Life. Yeah, sure. Um, my life went somewhere else, and uh, it just wasn't possible for me to be with them, and she made other choices. And How did you feel looking at this beautiful woman talk about you like that? I, that's hard to describe, because family is very important to me. I think she needs to hear how you feel about her. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And what it means this moment for you. There's not a day that I haven't thought about you. Um, I wondered how you've grown up, how your life has been, what's happening in your life. Um, and I had no idea where you were or how to get a hold of you. I had tried. You realize my father only lives about 12 miles away from where you were in Millington. He I live in Sandusky, Ohio now, yeah. but... And, uh, Since then, you know how do you remember when we were in the science shop in the mall when I was eight, and I was playing with that electric ball, and you got me that kaleidoscope. Since then, I've grown up and I've pursued. I've been pursuing a career in marine biology, and I want to grow up and get my PhD and get my doctorate and be a scientist. In that. Want to show you some more photos? You've never seen these photos. No. You know why? 
Yeah, I know why. Why don't you tell Sabra where they come from? That's at my mother's house, I think, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> That's These no, are photos your grandmother kept in a safety deposit box. Yeah, these have been my grandma had in a safety deposit box. All right, and these... Safety deposit box because the person I was involved with said that he'd destroy those. So my mom kept those for her. That's a beautiful photograph, right? <laughs> yeah, that's at the tree on my mother's, isn't it, when you took? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is, uh, this is the military ID card yeah. when you're yeah. in the military. <laughs> yeah. For Sabra. Yes. And this is a photograph of, have you seen this in a while? There's a handsome young man. That's the same picture I had, mm -hmm. only it's in there. I didn't see that one. It's, it's, we've got that one tucked back. I got the original one home. I, 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 I have I, a copy. I had a copy of it. I'm yeah. going to give you some time. Because usually it doesn't allow us to find out how it is for you. I mean, you come in in this artificial environment of a television studio, and then you disappear into the night. We don't know. I'd like to just let you stay tonight and just talk and catch up and um, come back on the show tomorrow and tell us whether you got what you came for. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you made a good... Give me a hug. Are you happy? Are you happy? Rick, you happy? That's right. Okay. If you think that was an amazing reunion, stay tuned to see what surprises we have up our sleeve for our next guest, who's searching for a best friend, a classmate, and two grandchildren. My goodness, she wants a lot out of life. We'll see what we can do next. Don't go away. <laughs> man in my country, I must fight a bull. Yet I cannot fight a tiger. Brave adults confront their uncontrollable desire for Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Sure, I could wander to other cereals. But I get all the shame and embarrassment I need right here. Those sweet flakes in a bowl of milk. Is it any wonder it's the cat's meow? Once our six-year-old grandson walked in on us. He said all the slurping woke him up. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! It's the softest bath tissue you'll touch. It's Kleenex Cottonelle Ultra Soft. With 24% more cottony soft fibers than the leading premium brand. So much more. It makes a difference you can see for a softness you can feel. Pamper yourself and your family like never before with luxurious Kleenex Cottonelle Ultra Soft. Feel what the softest feels like. Mattress Land. Mattress Land's winter sale is your chance to save on the finest mattresses from Sealy, Simmons, and Spring Air. Simmons mattresses, $49. Sealy queen size sets, $279. Spring Air back supporter queen sets, only $399. Every size, every comfort level, all are on sale during this once-a-year event. Plus, with approved credit, pay no interest for six full months. Mattress Land, huge selection, express delivery, and always the lowest price. Mattress Land. Gateway Mall, Springfield, Heritage Mall, Albany. With your first baby, everything's a question. From the right way to give a bath to the right diaper. You start with the most expensive, but then you get real and get loves. Why loves? They work great on leaks. They pass these torture tests as well as pricey brands, but loves cost less every day without coupons. With loves, there's no question, but there are other questions. Why? 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 Ask your father. Hey, live and learn, and then get loves. Welcome back. Well, today we're talking to people. Oh, by the way, by the way, we've sent uh, David and his daughter uh, to dinner. Uh, that was last night. That was something we're going to catch up a little later in the show. So we, we, we are tomorrow, so it's a little later. Today we're talking to people who want to be reunited with lost family and friends. My next guest came to us with a very big request. Not our usual. Please welcome Sheila Lowe from Coos Bay, Oregon, ladies and gentlemen. Sheila, my goodness. 
You're looking for an army of people. <laughs> yes. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for my grandchildren mainly. That, that was the first thing that I'm looking for. And I haven't seen them since they were five and four. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a, a friend that I was with in the Marine Corps, a lady friend that I was in the Marine Corps with. You were in the Marine Corps? Yes. <laughs> you were a mean, lean fighting machine? I... <laughs> with, a, with a frock. <laughs> and you had a very good friend then. I had a very good friend all through that, and I've lost contact with her years ago, and I tried to find her um, by going to the computers at the library mm -hmm. and looking up names. Unusual for women yeah. in the Marine Corps in those days. Yes, yeah. yes. Who else? Unusual. And I was looking for... Um, a man that I was in the Marine Corps with, I was engaged to him, and he went back to Massachusetts to get the ring, and he, when he came back, he wouldn't speak to me. <laughs> and, you know, he wouldn't, he, I, I went where he was, and he wouldn't come to see me. I went where he was, and I tried to find out what happened. Maybe he found out the price of diamonds. Maybe. <laughs> I don't okay. know. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? And I'm looking for um, Bill Gukin. He's a, he was somebody that I was in high school with, and uh, I felt like I treated really badly in high really? school. Yeah, so I wanted Well, this is quite a collection. Why is it so important for you at this time in your life? Um, well, well, my grandchildren are now of an age where they could make a decision if they wanted to. Might they be over 18, would they? Yeah, they're 18 mm -hmm. and 19 now. And, and uh, the other people, well, I, well, with Bill, I want to apologize to him for being like I was. I, I, How were you? I was really rude, and I wouldn't. I <laughs> but most people, you know, that was. Yeah, look, you're a kid it was years then. Ago. Well, this is what forty years ago. Why do you care? What? I don't know. I don't know why. I just have thought about it an awful lot. It bothered the years. you that yes, you were. Yes, bothered me. Was he nice to you? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And did you have a? Did you have a crush on he had you? A crush on me. Oh. <laughs> so he was one of these boys who used to follow you around like a puppy dog. Yes, and all, all over the school. <laughs> and then you used to say like what? What did you say? You, I don't know, but I'd whisper about him to my friends, right. and I'd say, there he's following me, you know, on a Well, let, let's start with Mary Lou. This is a friend <laughs> in the Marine. Tell us about her. Mary Lou was just a really good friend. Her name was Pumphrey, now her, and, and then her married name was Durant, yeah, after but, she but got married. Oh, you want to what do you remember most? Yeah, oh. why, why, why is it important for you to find her again? Well, we were just always together. We were just really good friends. and, like, and what, uh, sisters? Like sisters, almost, you know, hmm. really like that. And she was just the best friend I'd ever had. And she, um, What's the thing you remember about her most? Her smile, and she was really shy, and she just, you mm -hmm. know, she, she was very thin. And she, um, we, we saved um, teddy bears together, because the Marine Corps is such a tough place that we tried to make it gentle, you know. And so we, we, we would go out together and buy little teddy bears, and we had our, 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 whole, our bunks just completely covered with that. I had the upper bunk, and she had the lower just bunk. Just to remind yourself that you were still with it, and amongst yeah. all this testosterone <laughs> and madness. Yeah. Why did you lose touch with her? It was my fault, I guess, you know. At some time I lost her address, and I didn't know how to get in touch with her at all. What would finding her again mean to you? It would mean an awful lot. It would be wonderful. Why? I don't know. We were just really good friends. Uh, you know, we forget, don't we, when we're that young, how easy it is when we're, when we're that age to make friends and how hard it becomes later on. Right. So I suppose you've never found that friend again. Well, if you, uh, if you, why don't you tell us a story that only she would remember. So if she's watching, she'll genuinely okay. know. <laughs> one time, one time I was cutting her hair. We, we didn't have much money in the Marine Corps in those days, so we had to do everything we could ourselves. Right. And I was trimming her hair for her, and she stood over the garbage can. It was right after Christmas. Right. And everybody would thrown sweet stuff and wrappers and stuff in the garbage can. And the ants started coming up but I didn't know this and I was cutting her hair and I was right next to the ants and all of a sudden I felt and I looked down and I had ants all up and down my legs mm -hmm. Really? And I and I did this dance uh, mm -hmm. trying to <laughs> to take it, get the ants off of me. D Mary Lou, do you remember that? No. You don't remember that? <laughs> Sheila, you don't remember that? Honey, <laughs> thank you for coming. Come on, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on. We tricked you, Sheila. <laughs> That's really wonderful. What was the story you were going to tell her? Um, 
we babysat my sister's children one time and we had to feed them and neither one of us knew how to cook because we were only 18 and just out of high school and we read the recipe for a meatloaf and we put it together and we didn't know how to cook it so we put it in a pot with some water you boiled meatloaf? I think it was the first hamburger helper <laughs> does she look like you remember her? No. Both of you? A little larger. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit larger. <laughs> well, the photos, let's, I don't think the audience in the studio, did you see the photos? <coughs> that's, uh, that's you, Mary Lou. It was. You skinny little girl. <laughs> and uh, Sheila, does Mary Lou look like what you think she'd look like after four? No. No, no, but you I wouldn't. Could you could see, walk past her. I can see that she does. And there's Sheila. Gorgeous little perky thing you were. <laughs> What, what, what's so emotional about all of this for you? What is it that you, that you want that you found when you found Mary Lou, Sheila? I'm just so really glad that I found her. I just really am. I, I tried and tried to locate you over the uh, from names at the library mm -hmm. and I tried to phone you. I phoned, I don't know how many people I phoned back in Florida that were supposed to be M. Durant or <laughs> Mary Durant or anything, but I never could find you. Well, my husband passed away, and two years later, I remarried. So that, you know, there was a name change. That made it very difficult. And then I disappeared. <laughs> disappeared. Well, <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> oh, I, I'm going to let you talk a little during the break. Um, at least we're able to find one friend for you. Oh, that's wonderful. And on those others, well, you just have to see how life goes for you. All right. But stay there because we have more. When we return, you'll hear more of Sheila's story of how she used to torture her high school friend who had a crush on her. Because even if we can't find him, it's a terrific story. And we actually have uh, a yearbook from your year. So we'll show the photo and the nasty things she wrote. But pity we can't find him. That much more next on The Good <laughs> What would someone see if they started to walk to your front door? They'd see all the signs that say you're a responsible homeowner and loving parent. And while this sign may not be one of the things most people would notice, it speaks volumes about you. What this sign says is that you will take the extra steps to make sure your family is safe and sound. What this sign says about your family is that 24 hours a day, they're watched over by a team of security professionals and that police, fire, and EMS personnel can be reached without wasting precious time. What this sign says to intruders is that your home and property are protected even when you're away. What this sign says is that protecting your home and family couldn't be easier. And finally, what this sign says is that now you can get an ADT security system installed from $99 and save $50 on a custom installation. Call now to help protect the things you cherish and the ones you love. Make sure they're safe and sound. <laughs> Don't you wish you could get the soothing, gentle care of a bath in a wipe? Baby Fresh is extra gentle, soothing, quilted thick and blended with soft, natural fibers, so no wipe is more gentle. And every change is soothing, gentle, and just from the bath fresh. Baby Fresh. Bathe your baby in gentleness. How Domino Champ Charlie Armstrong eats a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Super Bowl 31 is brought to you locally in part by Kendall Ford. The Outback Steakhouse all-time all-Madden Super Bowl team, America's number one pregame show, and Super Bowl 31 only on Fox Super Sunday. Together again, 
In 97, we just reunited Sheila with Mary Lou, her best friend of the Marine Corps. Can you see? Can you see from there now? You can? Okay, because we've got to remember that, Sheila, these good, uh, these good people, Steve, they can't see. You're in the way. I don't you know what to do. Well, no, but move the camera back okay. a little so they can see. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You, you got a nice interrupt? Okay, fine. There we go. They can see the show. They've come all this way. We've got to give them full value. They don't want to go home and see it. Well, Sheila and Mary Lou were in the Marine Corps, hadn't seen each other since in 42 years. Until just a few moments ago, I don't think they'll lose track of each other again. But um, Sheila, who is this young man? Because it's a very funny story. Did Mary Lou ever meet him? This the, the man, Bill? Bill? No, she never met him. She that never met him. That was when I was in in high school. Here's what you wrote. Do you remember what you wrote in your own high, high school yearbook? <laughs> sure. <laughs> there's a photo. There's a photo of him. Uh, uh, there's the high school yearbook. Let's have a photo. His name again is Bill Gookin. Bill Gookin. Okay. Well, if Bill Gookin is out there now, he can go back in memories. There is your uh, well. The, notes that kids write for other kids as they leave oh. and uh let's have a look uh, can we can we go in on that do we have do, do we have what was written there okay can you, re can you read your writing not from here <laughs> okay well come on come over here come over here with me and i'll i'll take you over to this monitor oh, okay. okay all right now read that what, what did you say what did you say all those years ago uh, memories it said this was a wonderful year one i don't want to ever forget Roger and Heartbreak. Oh, awful. your boyfriend at the time, right? <laughs> yeah, and the awful time I had with Bill Gookin. <laughs> but now I look back and it's different. He was a swell guy. Oh, so, okay. You even thought then you'd... And it, what's the, wh who wrote this? What is this? Did you write this? Yeah. What does that say? <laughs> I mustn't forget Ronnie Abshar and my other crushes. <laughs> and you were quite the Don flirt, Hastings, weren't you? Bert, I then there was Ray. Ray, Ray again. Oh, my God. My jealousies and la, la, la. Oh, 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 that's what Bill wrote. Is that Bill, is that, is that Bill there? That's Bill. Uh -huh. All right. What does it say? Lots, lots of luck, Sheila. I still love you, kid. I don't know. It says a whole bunch in Spanish. Oh, it's a, oh, it says something. Well, what was it he did that was so annoying to you? He just always, he, he just always was bothering me and following me around. And, and uh, my mother, my mother was encouraging this. And she was, she was always saying that you, this is the guy that you, you know, he's really nice. She wanted you to get yes. together. Yes. And I just got so mad at her about mm. it because he was always she felt like she was pushing the two yeah. of you together and he was he was nice but i just didn't like all her help but you know look he says i still love you yeah he said then yeah, yeah right, right. And, and then you've got that spanish does anyone can anyone here read spanish can it you can let me just just no, hear. yeah yeah can you help can you help me sir can you <laughs> can you read that for me yeah, yeah. excuse me yeah um I hope that you have uh, the best of good luck in the years to come. You and Ray, go with God, with love. Yeah. <laughs> This is wonderful. Oh, I'm so sorry for what, how I treated you. <laughs> I always wanted to say this to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> did, did, you, did, you, did, you, did you think you were treated badly at the no, time? No, I didn't. She let me stick around. You, you were happy just to be in her presence. You've got to be kidding. Yes, that's right. Come and sit yeah. down. Come and sit down here. Come on, I want to... We had you disguised as a... Do you mind? Do you mind? I want to put the two of them together. Not because... No, thank you very much. You sit there. You sit there, darling, so your friends are on either side of you. Bill very generously dressed up as a stage manager. I'll take that out of there. So we could hide him. You were brilliant. I was about to come to you for my cue, Bill. I was just... I was so overwhelmed. I... What's your fault? <laughs> Oh, you're still as perky and cute as ever, oh, thank and you. bubbly, and of course that's what I really liked about you then. What was it that you fell for 50 years ago? Uh, she's just so, so full of vitality and energy and, and, and cheerful, uh, and well, they called her perky in the Marine Corps, and that really suits her. Th th this is a photograph. Uh, Do you remember that? Of Mary, uh, Sheila? 
You know? That, that's, that's that car that yeah. you took me to Is that, Was that your car? <laughs> yeah, he, had, he, took, he took me in that car up to L.A. and the brakes went out on a hill. <laughs> and and, and we, were coming, he, we were coming to an intersection and it was going back and forth like this and we could have crashed and he went around the corner just in time and, and we he didn't. He saved your life, Sheila. <laughs> it was really scary. Was Did he ever hill. try the old <laughs> I've ran out of gas trick? No. He didn't? Uh, don't you remember when Did we you? were going up to uh, <laughs> Fallbrook? Yeah. And the gas tank fell out? <laughs> Some people run out of gas. I do the whole thing. The gas tank fell off the car. Well, you know what? Looking at the car, I'm not surprised. But there was something you wanted. When we told you that we had found Sheila, you were pretty, you were pretty thrilled. Yes, very much so. There was something you wanted to ask her, wasn't it? Are you still single? Are you single? Are you, are you single? I'm a, I'm a born again bachelor. You're a what, Bill? A born again bachelor. Okay. So maybe we can pick up where 1954 left off? <laughs> what? Hey, don't you stop the thing, They've only just met after 42 years, darling. Like, you know, mate, they never well, left each other in their hearts. They never left each other in their hearts. What? Come on, Bill, let's get them out. No, 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 come on, come on. Slow down. Slow down. That, you know, it's... Oh, my God, they're out of control. You know what, Sheila? I think we've done enough for one day. All right, we've got Bill back in your life. We've got your best friend back in your life. Must feel like you're a kid again. We're going to leave you with these memories. We will come back and talk about your grandkids just so we can show the photos that you've got so that you, if they're out there, they can find you. So stay tuned for uh, Sheila's, I suppose it'll be a heart-wrenching plea for her, for the grandchildren that she wanted so much to uh, keep in her life. And a young woman desperately searching for her roots. That's next. Don't go away. <laughs> Complimentary tickets to the Gordon Elliott Show in New York. Give us a call at 212-975-8540. And please be sure to leave us your phone number. Their loved ones were senselessly murdered. She grabbed the phone yelling, Mommy, Mommy, help me, Mommy, help me. But the killers were declared insane and turned loose. This man is free and he's walking your street. How can these families find justice? Innocent by reason of insanity on the next Gordon Elliott Show. Did you get your Pop-Tart? Uh, yeah, Mom. Hey, Mrs. B. Your toast is strudel, sir. You're too kind. Pillsbury Toaster Strudel is like a Pop-Tart, but better. With layers of flaky pastry, juicy filling, and do-it-yourself icing. So what do you do with the Pop-Tarts? Something better just popped up in your grocer's freezer. Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. Score big. Get a Mighty Ducks hockey puck box and stickers free with the purchase of any toaster strudel. What shape is your toothbrush in? Aquafresh Flex has a flexible neck to absorb pressure and help protect gums. Its pivoting head helps clean hard-to-reach plaque. No brush cleans better. Aquafresh Flex. It's hard on plaque, soft on gums. It's coming. A miserable cold and the power to fight it. All the power of Alka-Seltzer Plus cold medicine is in Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. Rush relief with Alka-Seltzer Plus liquid gels. The holidays may be over, but unfortunately those bills are more than a seasonal occurrence. It's hard to spread that holiday cheer and still have enough left over to take care of the standard necessities. Your Credit Inc. is licensed in Oregon under the Consumer Finance Act to loan up to $750. Apply over the phone and take advantage of Your Credit Inc.'s same-day service. So make a New Year's resolution to start on your way to a solid financial future. This is a great way to start or rebuild your credit. Your Credit Inc., 25 East 11th, Eugene. Today, it takes big bucks to get through college. But one of the fastest ways through college is with the Army National Guard. You can serve in the Guard and complete four years of college at the same time. You'll get the Montgomery GI Bill, an extra paycheck, training, and adventure. Serve one weekend a month and two weeks a year. If you want to get through college quickly, call 1-800-GO-GUARD. Now you don't have to overpay because... 
bad credit. Hutchins Budget Lot, 9th and South A in Springfield. Hutchins Budget Lot means $69.90 per month. Or spend that raise. Go for one of the $99.90 per month models. Hutchins Budget Lot is where the genius finance counselor handles no credit, bad credit, even bankruptcy. That's where budget cars cost less. Hutchins Budget Lot, 9th and South A in Springfield. $69.90 per month or $99.90 per month. Together again in 97. We've just made Sheila's year by reuniting with her best friend after 42 years. And the man who kept the torch for her, clearly it's uh, simmering after 43 years. Unfortunately, we weren't at this point able to introduce you to your grandchildren. But uh, we'll keep looking. But for the record, um, tell us a little bit about your relationship with them just before you left them, before they were adopted out. Well, the last time I saw them, they were five and four. and um, Did you try and keep them in your life? I wasn't able to, um, it's kind of involved, but my, my daughter took, got custody of them again. They had been in foster care, right. and I saw them a lot while they were in foster care. And then as soon as she got them back, she went to California and with them without saying goodbye or anything. So I didn't really know You're cut that off. they were leaving. And then the next thing I knew, um, she didn't have them anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, I called um, Children's Services, and they said that they had been adopted. That, right. I mean, not that hadn't been adopted then, but they were in a good home, and they were um, uh, well taken care of, and they were healthy, mm -hmm. and that they couldn't tell me any more than that because grandparents had no rights in the state of Oregon at okay. that time. Well, at least we know that. We'll mm -hmm. put their photos and names up a little later in the show. But uh, you'll relate to our next guest, who has, you know, problems like we all do when these families are shattered. I want to bring her out now because she's looking for her, uh, her family and her birth mother. Please welcome my next guest. Come on out, ma'am, if you can. Now, before we go into details, Darling, can you tell me why it is so important for you right now in your life to find your family? Well, I was adopted when I was eight, and um, right now I just got married yesterday, and um, I'm three months pregnant. And you're pregnant. Yeah. So, and how long has it been since you've seen your birth mother? Oh, probably 12 years. No, maybe a little bit longer than that. Yeah. So, uh, were you adopted with any other siblings? Yes, I, I had a brother. You have a brother? Mm-hmm. So, how does it, so is it because of your baby and the fact that you're finding out now you want to... That's her. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, right. David, he couldn't make it now. Oh, <laughs> so overwhelming. I'm so glad to see you. So you're pregnant? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. Would you like to meet your new grandson-in-law? Okay. Sheila? Robert, do you want to stand up? Do you want to meet your grandson-in-law? Come on up, I'll introduce you to Sheila. <laughs> He's a big man, isn't he? <laughs> We're going to talk about, you take a seat, you talk to uh, Charlotte and Robert and we'll catch up on the past eight years and when we return we'll see what it's like 24 hours after be re being reunited with a lost family member. Remember Sabre at the start of the show with her dad, we'll join them in a moment and see how last night went. That was good. That was good. Were you fired from a job because your employer didn't like the way you looked? Were you a victim of appearance discrimination? Call me at one 97 gordy Unbelievable! Howard Berg, the world's fastest reader in the Guinness Book of Records, demonstrates his mega reading technique on national TV. And, and you read this. Speed. You read yes. this. Well, Anybody who gets this course from yours can do what you just did. You already have the ability. I'm just showing you how to release it. 
Now, unlock your natural ability to quadruple your reading speed and remember everything you read with the amazing Mega Reading Home Study Course. I highly endorse and recommend this program. How it is the world's fastest reader. There's nothing out there like it anywhere in the world. It'll work for anyone about 8 to 10 years and up. If you have a student in your life, you need to get it for them. If you're in business, if you read papers, if you like to read novels, you'll learn this information, you'll read it quickly, and you'll be able to recall it. The amazing Mega Reading technology turns your eyes into a wide-angle camera so you can virtually photograph pages as fast as you can turn them. Imagine how much time you'll save when you read books, magazines, and newspapers in a fraction of the time. For business, school, or pleasure, anyone can release their super Mega Reading ability. But the former president of Evelyn Woods asked me to train his family. Now, this is a man who knows speed reading. Mega reading is so powerful, it's even been endorsed by Maurice Thompson Jr., former president of Evelyn Wood. His son quadrupled. I think he went from two to 860 words a minute in less than four hours. Anyone can learn the amazing mega reading secrets of the world's fastest reader. There's nothing else like it. In less than four hours, you'll become a mega reader, too. Folks, you heard this. You can call right now, get Howard's program, it takes just a few short hours. It's easy. It's fun. Anybody can do it. You'll be the greatest conversationalist. Kids get straight A's with less study time. You'll make more money in business because you'll be able to remember all the information. Don't be left behind. Unlock your natural ability to quadruple your reading speed. Call the number on your screen and order Mega Reading. It really works. Not available in stores. Money back if you aren't astounded. Call now. Laser Runner. Join us. For laser tag inside the futuristic laser runner battle station strap on your fiber optic armor energize your phaser weapon and enter after the space ball clears check and see if you rank amongst the elite play at sap 645 river road near the chambers connector eugene there's something for everyone at sap call 461-5451 laser runner play today it will blow you away someone that was given to your father. And what he's done is put it in a frame and it sits on the mantle in his house and it's been there every day and he looks at it every day and he's here to see you right now. Oh my God. He's right there. Your dad's coming in. Who's your dad? David? Sabra? Hey. That was yesterday. About 24 hours ago, when we reunited 15-year-old Sabra with her dad, David, who hadn't since she was a little girl eight years before. Now, I wanted to do that because, you know, we reunite people like we did today, and we just, we go, bye. You know, we, oh, what happened? <laughs> well, we wanted to send them out to dinner and say, well, what, you know, because some of this stuff doesn't, I don't know whether it works out. I don't know whether you want to see your grandma. You know, it's an exciting moment in the television studio. So what we did is we gave them 24 hours to sit with it. And now they're back to tell us how it feels, whether they got what they wanted, whether they richer or poorer for the experience so let me please reintroduce to you David and Sabre come on out <laughs> welcome back have a seat David there that's my chair you sit over here oh, that's your right that's okay <laughs> I like sitting there it would feel different you know like the side of the bed I just oh, like sitting um how was it it's basically been a 24-hour party since then. Is it really? We, you guys gave us a camera to take pictures, and we kind of did because we were busy talking and just catching up and just... <laughs> taking the pictures. We, we didn't That's realize. Fine. We had forgotten about it. That's okay. That's okay. But it's just been open arms, loving, just chatting, talking, and catching up and having a good old time. We went all over this morning. We got up real early. Me, my mom, my dad... <laughs> And my stepmom went to Metropolitan. You like Washington. saying that? <laughs> yes, I do. Say Very it again. It was my dad. <laughs> um, last night at the top of the stairs, I heard you say something. Do you remember what it was? I don't remember. Yeah, you know, I, I walked past you and said, come on, Daddy, we're going to dinner. <laughs> I'm going, oh, a long time since you've said that. <laughs> David. How was it for you? It was pretty great. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. We found out we have a lot of things in common, and she learned where she gets some of the things she likes to eat from, and where that nose comes from. And sure. Um, what pieces were missing for you, David? We didn't get much of a chance to talk about that. 
Well, like any parent, you wonder how your child is doing. Are they growing up well? Are they growing up right with the uh, right values and stuff like that? And their mother's doing a good job. I can see it already. And just, I'm really happy with the way things are turning out for her. And so, I mean, it's been rough. It's been rough for her family and our family. What can you give her from this point on? Support. Uh, a really large secondary family. <laughs> large, so I've heard. <laughs> yes, we. I, I've been taken in by my wife's family, real well, because um, I live far away from home now. What do you want from your dad? I think that's probably more relevant. I got everything I want because we've already made plans for spring, and we're going on a family vacation. I'm going down with, spend a week with on spring break with my dad, and I got the daddy back that I've wanted. For, they've been looking for a patrol. You never had this before. Um, I want to talk to uh, your wife and your mum. And now, Cheryl, hand up. You were here yesterday. What's it like watching your daughter's dreams come true? Uh, basically, what she told us in the motel last night, she said, Mom, you know. We did not put you up at a motel. Yes, you did. <laughs> She said, you know how they say, um, you know, I won this, so now I get to go to Disney World? She says, I just, I just went to Disney World. Yeah. That's what she said. Bless you. Bless you. Means a lot to you. Tremendous. Yeah. Tremendous. Was it really a motel? Where do we put, where do we, I thought we had a nice hotel, hotel in here. What? Hotel. Okay, right, because if it's a hotel. You want me to plug it, too? No, I don't need you to plug it. I'm like, God, they're doing that to our guests? I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Sorry. Now, I didn't introduce you yesterday. You are? Lisa Stevens. And you are? David's wife. How does it, uh, yes. What, what do you think's going on for David and for you in this? Uh, he's in heaven. Is he? Yes, he is. And uh, so am I. Another child. Oh. It's wonderful. Yeah. Do you think Sabre will fit well into the rest of the family? She will. Yeah? Oh, there's... She will. She belongs to us. Yeah. Part of her belongs to us That's now. a wonderful feeling. Thank you for giving it to her. What a memorable day this has been. Stay tuned for more fun. And remember, if you're looking for a lost love or a loved one, call Seekers of the Lost at 1-800-808-SEEK. Back with more after this, don't we? For your complimentary tickets to the Gordon Elliott Show in New York, give us a call at 212-975-8540 and please be sure to leave us your phone number. Their loved ones were senselessly murdered. She grabbed the phone yelling, Mommy, Mommy, help me, Mommy, help me. But the killers were declared insane and turned loose. This man is free and he's walking your street. How can these families find justice, innocent by reason of insanity, on the next Gordon Elliott Show? Domino's Pizza Mega Deal. Eight ninety nine. <laughs> hey, baby, make that call. Any pizza, any size, any number of toppings delivered darn near anywhere, anytime for eight ninety nine. And only Domino's Pizza does it. The Mega Deal. Hot. Wow. Come on, call now. Mattress Land. Mattress Land's winter sale is your chance to save on the finest mattresses from Sealy, Simmons, and Spring Air. Simmons mattresses, $49. Sealy queen size sets, $279. Spring Air back supporter queen sets, only $399. Every size, every comfort level, all are on sale during this once-a-year event. Plus, with approved credit, pay no interest for six full months. Mattress Land, huge selection, express delivery, and always the lowest price. Mattress Land. Gateway Mall, Springfield, Heritage Mall, Albany. Want to help prevent the spread of germs? Get Dawn Antibacterial. It kills germs on hands, and it cuts tough grease better than any antibacterial. Dawn Antibacterial. The best on tough grease.
Pontiac Gold and Geo in Junction City is one of the highest volume dealers on the whole West Coast. So, we take hundreds of used car and trucks in trade, but we can't keep them but a short time. So, just make an offer. And, at Garrity and Junction City, you'll not only deal with friendly people who look you in the eye and tell them like it is, you'll shop with confidence from the total inventory of nearly 1,000 units. Garrity's been at the same thrifty location for over 30 years, so you'll get an honest bargain at Garrity Chevy Pontiac Golden Geo in Junction City. I know I shouldn't, but I love them. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, too irresistible for adults. My friends think I'm doing this commercial to help others. Get real. I'm in it for the free samples. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great! If you want a little more than just the scores and the medal counts, there's entertainment. Join us. Access Hollywood Backstage Pass, Atlanta. Tonight, the most secure community in America. They think they've created a safe haven. Has a predator living among them. What does he want? He doesn't want anything. He's insane. Millennium, tonight on Fox. Parental discretion advised. He's seven, Gordy. We're bringing the past back for these people into their present so their futures can be richer. Sheila, is there any more we can do for you today? Your best friend, your old boyfriend, oh, this your is granddaughter? Wonderful. This is no? so great. Okay. It's just wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Now, we have audience questions. We have audience questions. Yes, you have a question? Yes, please. Can you stand up, please? Yep. After all these years, I was wondering, um, what do you think that your grandson would look like today? All right, because we haven't found your grandson. Are you my grandson? <laughs> <laughs> Well, tell me, you, tell me, tell me, how did you, how did you know that that was your grandson? Well, <laughs> I just had a feeling you keep bringing more people out. <laughs> it's a setup. And, and, and you look, your face, yeah, yeah. Handsome young man. Yeah. So you, you and Charlotte, you had a happy uh, upbringing? Yeah, pretty much. As oh, much as it so is good. these days, yeah. I know how it is, yeah. That is so wonderful. You look well. What do you do? What do I do? Um, I actually work in television. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're working on television. I, I work at a local channel in my hometown in Binghamton. Right. Oh. And, uh, yeah, sit on your grandma's knee, will you? I don't have any more chairs, but if you sit on a knee, I think you'll fulfill a lifelong fantasy. Sheila, I'm not lying to you when I say that that's all, that that's all the family I've got for you today, all right? I can't squeeze any more in. We'll be back with how you can help yourself create the same kind of happiness. Blah, blah, blah. Air travel provided by United Airlines. Brought to you by the more than 50,000 employee owners of United Airlines. We don't just work here. Come fly our friendly skies. It's only a matter of hours. The fever will come. The congestion, the cough. And it will steal you away. This is the flu. Mommy. And this is the relief. Theraflu. Maximum strength medicines for complete relief of all your worst symptoms. So give us your flu. And we'll give you the relief you need to bring you back. Theraflu. Now in maximum strength nighttime caplets. All the relief you need. Here's your Pop-Tart. Another one. See after baseball practice. Got the toaster strudel? Of course. So when is your mom going to find out about toaster strudel? Soon, I hope. Pillsbury toaster strudel is like a Pop-Tart, but better. With layers of flaky pastry, juicy filling, and do-it-yourself icing. So what do you do with the Pop-Tarts? Something better just popped up in your grocer's freezer. Pillsbury toaster strudel. What would someone see if they... Protected from the start with Vidal Sassoon shampoos and conditioners. They help protect each strand to its cuticle edge. The Sassoon System. Professional care for your hair. 
Fibercon or Metamucil? Both have fiber for regularity. But I like Fibercon better. Same natural action of fiber, same dependable regularity. Fibercon makes staying regular much easier for me. Fibercon caplets, fiber regularity that's easier to take. What would someone see if they started to walk to your front door? They'd see all the signs that say you're a responsible homeowner and loving parent. And while this sign may not be one of the things most people would notice, it speaks volumes about you. What this sign says is that you will take the extra steps to make sure your family is safe and sound. Yes, this is Maria. What this sign says about your family is that 24 hours a day, they're watched over by a team of security professionals and that police, fire, and EMS personnel can be reached without wasting precious time. What this sign says to intruders is that your home and property are protected even when you're away. What this sign says is that protecting your home and family couldn't be easier. And finally, what this sign says is that now you can get an ADT security system installed from $99 and save $50 on a custom installation. Call now to help protect the things you cherish and the ones you love. Make sure they're safe and sound. He's in these great questions. You wanted to ask Bill? Bill, have you ever looked for Sheila? Did I've, I tried to find her folks in Fallbrook where we, they lived last one time. I think about her a lot. Oh, and we'll be thinking in the future and we'll be finding out what's going on. And Bill, do you still love Sheila? Oh! Uh... Hey, it's been 43 years... We'll find out. <laughs> All right. Grandchildren, best friends, and the future sitting there. I want to thank uh, Hard Rock Cafe for the lovely night they gave to you last night, to Sabre and David, and to the Seekers of the Lost and Hard Rock Cafe for making it all a success. Good luck to you all. Keep in touch. I want to see how your lives turn out. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Cheerio, America. Promotional fee paid by. How fast does maximum strength Ambisol start to relieve cold and canker sore pain? Before you can say. Ambisol. Put it on. The pain is gone. Hot Pockets! Hot Pockets! Filled with pepperoni pizza or ham and cheese and a crispy crust. What are you going to pick? Hot Pockets! Try Lean Pockets, too. Crunch and Munch. It's perfect whatever you're craving. Popcorn, peanuts, and rich, buttery toffee. Delicious. It's like a fun snack. I take this in the car on a long trip. Or maybe a short trip. Any trip. <laughs> Toppings delivered darn near anywhere, anytime for $8.99. And only Domino's Pizza does it. The mega deal. Hot! Wow! Come on, call now! Now you don't have to overpay because you have bad credit. Hutchins Budget Lot, 9th and South A in Springfield. Hutchins Budget Lot means $69.90 per month. Or spend that raise. Go for one of the $99.90 per month models. Hutchins Budget Lot is where the genius finance counselor handles no credit, bad credit, even bankruptcy. That's where budget cars cost less. Hutchins Budget Lot, 9th and South A in Springfield. $69.90 per month or $99.90 per month. I'm not as attractive as I think I am. Oh, yeah. Anything's possible. Selena Rama, five days a week on Seinfeld.
You're watching Oregon's Fox KLSR TV. You know, we receive a lot of cards and letters on the dating game, and here's one that we received from our next guest, Nicole. It goes something like this. Dear dating game, I think I need your help. Just listen to my last few dates. First, there was the stockbroker who gulped down three pitchers of beer while telling me about his year in rehab. Before that was the guy who absolutely refused to bathe, and another guy forgot to mention that he was an arsonist when I asked him to list his good and bad qualities. I think there are great men out there. I'm just convinced they are all hiding in some remote island. Please help Nicole. Well, we are going to help her, and let's bring her out right now. Nicole, she is an office manager and the class clown of her high school. Hi! Welcome to the show. Please have a seat. So, you dated an arsonist. Yeah. Well, if you